Hell yeah, what's good, what's good, what's good? Aquí andamos en otro episodio con puros compas, podcast. We're back. My boy Abardo, wearing that goddamn jersey today. Verdes vida, compadre. Jersey day. <laughs> It is jersey day. Our guests actually were saying like, what the hell? They didn't why get the memo. Why didn't they let us know? They didn't yeah. get the memo. The, the, the fucking snipers too. They were all fucking pissed because we didn't fucking let them know. But today, is, it's, a very, uh, it's a very special occasion in the, in the fact that here at AMG HQ, It's very rare there's women in here. Yes. So, with that being said, um, our guest today is, uh, is, it's our second set of podcasters, because we had uh, Compass Unfiltered first. For sure. And now, uh, this is our second set. And we're going to keep bringing podcasters, uh, we're going to try like maybe once, once a month to once every other month or so. Pero hoy les toca uh, el podcast a las muchachas de Chingonas Talk About It. Yes. Hey. Chingonas What's and Snappers. Up? Thanks These for guys having are, us. They're What's snapping. Up, girls? ¿Cómo están? I'm excited yeah. to be here. Yeah. I'm excited too. <laughs> so we're here to talk about your guys' podcast that okay. uh, everybody in this room is, is a huge fan of. Like oh, we listen you. to it uh, thank every, you guys. Thank every you guys. week. I really appreciate it. So este, technically we can start right off the bat and say like, you know, ¿Cómo es que empezó la idea para ustedes with the Chingonas um, Talk About It? Um, la idea surge que I love reposting like motivational posts. I have actually have a little blogger uh, page on instagram and i love to have posts that connect to like what you're feeling what you're going through every day so like city says like Ora me levante mi mamona. i'm like repost it because i'm gonna be my so it's just like <laughs> shit like that that like oh shit like real shit that people go through and uh just talk about real shit that goes on in your life i'm very emotional i'm very into my feelings so it's just like no i say you're right no way you're right way bueno todavía no it's a little cloudy in here yeah. but that's not it <laughs> But just, just, just shit like just real shit. So I started like that, and then um, I was like, you know what? Why don't we have a conversation about shit that goes on in people's lives? And like I always go to my older sister, Cynthia. So I was like, let's have a conversation between sisters. Damn. Just like shit that's going on. Obviously, we're girls, so it's a lot of relationship, you know, problems and partnerships. I mean, whatever. you guys became like the fucking love doctors, yeah. right? Yes. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that was not was that the uh, objective in the beginning kind At of thing? All. Well, y like let's be honest. Let's um, be honest. She went through a little. Uh, yes, she went through a, a, a okay. little breakup. Okay, there and, you go. And that's where the relationship topic started. <laughs> Those are fun. Yeah. yeah, and everybody loved them. Break, yeah, breakups. Hey, they, they yeah, do. Bar Bardo, we're gonna have you on the call. Oh. Put him on the call. Oh, Put him on the call. I don't know if I'm ready. Breakups yeah. are fucking life changers, bro. Yeah, I mean, everybody has to have gotten through a breakup. Yeah, and um, so those did really, really good, and it's just like. That's that was where we were at. It's like okay, I could talk about a breakup. But now, like, uh, let let me get this straight though, just because uh, now you caught my interest with that. As far as like the breakup didn't happen right in the beginning of the pod, or was it like episode three and then you broke up and then? You know what? My, that last person actually knew that I wanted to create this, so it wasn't even that. But for shout him out, hell no. Damn. <laughs> Culpable. Fuck no, nah, yeah. no shout out. That's exactly. his boy. Look at him. Hey, big shout out, man. Nah, hey, shout out to Luis. That person knew what he did. It's yeah. all good. Um, shout it out too. No, no, maybe. But was it like a 15 year relationship? Like my boy Bardo here? No, oh, no, 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 sorry. It was only 10. Why, no. <laughs> Why you gotta bring old shit up? No, shit, but. Right? <laughs> That's in the past, bro. But Leave it it there. did motivate. It did motivate. So for sure, it yeah. was that push. And it didn't, I didn't want it to be just relationship, but obvio, it was fresh. So we had to talk about relationships. So some, some subjects were like, you know, hitting me like shit. I'm really talking about this shit for real, for real. Yeah. yeah. No, and, and I caught it a couple times where I'm like, like somebody asked for the topic, but did, did you want to be on the call? Are right. you good? Because like, ella los acaba, pero del corazón. And it's just like, it got to a point where people loved that. Yeah. So it was just like, we were, even we try to do something different. People would be like, no, talk about relationships. Or how would you deal with un coming out of a, a relationship and starting a new one and stuff like that. And we're like, damn, we want to mm. step away. Oh, yeah. From you guys did one of those, right? Like, yeah. what, uh, when is it too early or yeah, too yeah, soon yeah, or to something? Start, like yeah. That? yeah. So yeah. it's just like, they querían seguir dando aquí a la herida, pero... Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm over it, but honestly, like, that actually motivated me nah, to keep bro, talking. No, bro, you've been about over it. it. No, I'm over it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It is, but 
talking about it and like p- having people ask you about relationship, you're just like shit. Like I really went through that, you know. Well, you but became like, you become a little wiser, right? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. For and sure. then it's it's a breakup just makes you realize a whole bunch of shit. You know, it's a life changer. Bart, are you doing good? Bart, are you, you're Bart, good. Yeah. You're good. You know, let yeah, us know. You know let what? us know. I hey. was gonna say, no joke, talking about it. La neta does help. Yeah, yeah it I does. fucking tell my boys all the time, hey, well, this is what the fuck happened, and this is what's going on, and yeah. Yeah. fuck it, I feel this way, but, you know, we're going to get over it. And Hey, some people that. start podcasts, other people buy cars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just happens, right? Yeah, I think I did both. Oh. Yeah. Oh, me too, me too. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah. Look at us now. No, for real, she she did buy a, a truck. I bought a whole pickup truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She bought a mamalona. Hey, Jose puts <laughs> fucking... Those riddle makers on them, motherfuckers. Oh, yeah? Oh, for real? Uh, Loki on Roscoe? Oh, I know that. Yeah, that's right. No wonder you look familiar. Yeah. You've been in Northside. <laughs> He's a mechanic guy and shit. No. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, uh, I think the breakup thing is, is uh, it's a huge fucking thing. It, yeah. it, it, it motivates you to do certain shit that you didn't think about doing while you're in the relationship. Yeah, because I noticed how it caught, it caught on with you guys. With, um, with The topics are cool. <laughs> You know, big shout out to your husband. I'm a big fan of the Mandilon episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I think those are uh, things that we have to uh, normalize in a yeah. way, right? Or maybe it's just that we're stuck in a way. Like, I don't know if you guys are like first generation or not, right? But I think that there are other Mexican families that are way past that already, right? Yeah. And and some that are not. And they're very into the machismo, which is another topic yeah. that you guys talk about. Yeah. But I do believe in the whole, um, the, the Mandilon episode was great because... When you get older and you have family and shit like that, like you stop thinking about that shit. Like yeah. you're not worried about yeah, this guy calling me a mandilon or anything like that. Yeah, and that's exactly <laughs> what what my husband said. He's like, you know what? Like my boys tell me all the time, but actually, I don't take offense in it. Right. Because you know, it's I'm doing good for my family, so it's just like, all right, let's make an episode well, then. That, but um, that one they really good. No, did that, that take that, a lot of convincing? You. No, I'm gonna thank you. No, for him to jump on? Brincaba porque lo pusiéramos en the car. Damn. Hey, Loki, now that we're here, shout out to my cuñado. Oh, Always shout shouting about. Shout out to my cuñado. <laughs> yeah, that's my little snappers, that's my please. I, I was gonna Hell yeah. Fucking <laughs> guy. <laughs> Yeah, he's already tripping. Yeah, I, so, I love yeah. how I love Shout how you. Yeah. that's your number one fan. Yeah, right yeah, no, that's my brother. That's my brother. We'll talk. Yeah, that's yeah. badass. That's badass. Yeah, shout they, out to Kumia. They have an amazing relationship. Amazing yeah. relationship. So it's only right for her to shout him out every episode. Every, I have to. I have to. That's hell yeah. We that's we probably favorite. got merch going on now with El shout cuñado. out to my cuñado. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Vamos a invertirle con Vamos a invertirle, yeah. Yeah. Vamos, yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. But um, the Mandilon episode was. I think it was an eye opener for a lot of guys because it's like, who you know who likes being called a mandilon? You know, it's you know it's a it's a word that it just se escucha mal. So for for your boys to say it as a joke, it's okay. But then when you know amongst friends are like, oh, it's always been mandilon. You know, that's a disrespect because it's like, what? Why is he a mandilon? Because he's helping his family out. Right. Because, yeah, because mm-hmm. he has actually responsibilities like. That it doesn't sit well with me, especially like in my house, it no gender roles. Like my son's doing the same thing my daughter's doing, and my daughter's doing the same thing my son's doing. And then is that how you guys grew up though, as well? Like yeah. in in your well, in yeah, your parents' house? Yeah, my my parents had a restaurant. Okay. And yeah, yeah, yeah. In all our lives. En cuanto podíamos el, uh, alcanzar la register, yo nunca la alcancé, pero no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little stepper for her. Uh, Me adjusting yeah. the chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad put us to work, and yeah, también a mi hermano. We have an older brother, and my brother was working in the restaurant too. And my dad, the same way que nos aventaba nosotros las charolas, se las aventaba mi brother. We had to catch it. Now, we had to catch it. Try again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now you better go get it. I think we learned to work as a team, so we didn't see any gender neutral roles. Yeah. And my mom too. Oh, my, mom, yeah, my mom, like my mom's a luchona for sure. Cuatro por cuatro. Yeah. You know, we we sure. always say that. We always say I, that. I, I Mama luchona that. cuatro por cuatro. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think we we got taught to work as a team. <laughs> So it's like a todos parejitos. Yeah. So yeah. I, I love, I love sister, your your parenting skills because that's how we grew up. It was like todos a chingarle. No. You know what I'm saying? You you love being home because it's like you're learning what not to do when you get married. When I that's went to your house, is. sometimes I'd be like, you know what? I don't even live here. <laughs> yeah. I'm, just yeah. here for, I'm just here for a small amount cuando, of time. Cuando like, se me sale lo gritona, right? Yeah, look at me like, shit. Put your head down. Look at it, start looking at your phone. Yeah. 
Well, it's time to leave, but we haven't even recorded. Van a poner, van a poner ticket en Cicero, eh? No pone ticket. For real, though. Yeah, I also want to congr uh, congratulate you guys because I did see you guys picked up a uh, Lumbre Mix sponsor. Sponsor, oh, yes. shout out. That's yeah, how my boy Lumbre Bart's Mix, boy. Yeah. Oh, shout out Compa Isaias. Yeah, 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 shout yeah. out to, back, man, to Compa Isaias. He, he has a great product. It, fucking great. And yeah. everybody's loving it, man. Like they're, they're hustling hard as fuck. Yeah. They're hustling hard as fuck. And Aurora is really backing them up. Y pues now los alrededores. Yes. I mean, yeah. he's, he's, moving, he's moving out. Yeah, what? Are, We're trying to get him in. Them with yeah, stuff, and in I'm sure, man, this is it's it's a, it's a great thing for both you guys. Yeah, both of you guys. I mean, him as a you know sponsoring you guys and you guys having the sponsor. You know, it's gonna do great for both of you guys. Yeah, simple as that. I mean, yeah, and he's such a humble guy, so he deserves all the the you know awards are coming his way yeah yeah for sure you, so. you know what it is like we love humbleness and then we always support small business like whatever the fuck it is like we come from a small business so if you want to fucking sell paletas i'm gonna share that shit on facebook on yeah. instagram on fucking snapchat because i know what it is yeah yeah because that, that's big, big our our dad had a restaurant but it was a small restaurant family, it wasn't some, yeah it wasn't something big right so we know what it was to struggle we know what it was to get a bill and be like shit how much have we made today um, because we need to get this bill paid. And it's just everybody, um, and we touched about uh, about it with the Compass on Filter a little bit, that yeah. everybody looked at us and it's like, oh, their dad has a, a business and their dad has a rancho and this and this and they that. Must but, they must yeah, have money. Yeah, they must good. have money. And there was a couple times that we actually heard that, oh, ha de, ha de vender droga el, el señor. And it's like, what the fuck? My mom se levanta a las nueve, se acuesta a las cinco de la mañana para empezar the next day all over again for yeah. somebody to disrespect my family like that. Right. So, um, I Don't mean, disrespect my family. Shout, out, shout out to everybody that vende droga, you know, it's okay. Cada quien, cada quien, cada quien. Hermana, ¿quién somos nosotros para juzgar? ¿Quién somos nosotros? We shit. Yeah. So, um, that's, that's Pro what I... Ozarks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking favorite show. Yeah. But um, but no, my my dad struggled, so we for sure one hundred percent always supporting yeah. small businesses all the time from whatever it whatever is, the it smallest is. to food to shirts to yeah. clothing whatever the fuck yeah I'm down yeah you don't even have to tell me shit I'm gonna just share it because I want to yeah. I generally want to share it well that's already like a different mindset too like growing up in in a family that has a business like I I believe they when we had the David Suarez the Suarez the Comales guys. Just the way they talk about their parents' mentality. Yeah, I love that episode. I love that episode. Yeah. I, love I, was, that. I was like, man, look at your I want that. Because I was literally watching them like, it was we such can a positive connect so I much. Cried. Yeah. I cried. Oh, stop wow. it. You never even admitted no, that. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> because of the episode? Was, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> At the, the events they did, the mariachi thing. Oh, oh. the mariachi oh. thing, yeah. 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 Hearing people. the whole story, like, damn, like, I, I didn't know that that was them yeah. Yeah. being there, you know, and I, I got to go both years. And, and they just, said that was like a mind blowing thing. They said they cried, right? On the last song, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, yeah, hearing them talk great. and then hearing you guys kind of like describe it, it's kind of very similar to to uh, what we heard from them. Yeah. I just think that you grew up in a different environment. It's not the normal household. Yeah. yeah. Once a family uh, owns a, a business and shit like, like that. Like you were asking us that if we're from the north side. We're from the north side, but like we were saying. Yeah, shout like, out to your north side people, <laughs> yeah. man. Hey, shout out to the north side, Loki. Yeah. We, we're we, straight from North and Fucking Lakeview. Yeah. yeah. Is that even CPS or no? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. it. I don't want to say it, but I work there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Damn. No, but um, <laughs> honestly, like, just working in the family business just taught us so much. And, like, I don't know. I think we used to get a lot of shit. Like, even in high school, I used to get a lot of shit. Like, I used to low key, they, they used to bully me. Because, uno huelía carne asada. Yeah. Oh, we always smell like tacos. Wow. We always smell like tacos. Che ajo y la chica. Yeah. Todo, todo. So, like, honestly, I think now, I think we're like, do I, do I smell weird or do yeah. we have enough body spray and shit? Yeah. You know? Because, like, tenemos no. esa mentalidad que siempre, like, nos decían, no, huele la comida. And yeah. shit, like, damn, fuck. Not, me. not only that, um, we went to a, a friend's funeral and okay. they, the, um, the place did a taquiza for, oh, for the shit. person. And we saw the girl like struggling to make the the like the pa order. Servir, pa servir. Pa servir. And you guys helped out. And we, we asked, asked her. Oh, we asked her. Yeah. We're like, oh, hey, can shit. we help you? Yeah. And it's just it was in us because we know what yeah, it was yeah, to yeah, struggle, yeah. and you have yeah. a whole line, and you need to keep on yeah. going and smile at the, the client. The natural teamwork I, in you guys. I said, now nah, we're yeah. like, we, we gotta help her. She's yeah. struggling. Aside Damn, from the badass. restaurant, my dad used to take taquitas on the side, so yeah. we would tag along. And my dad's like, "Orale, quieres chingarle? This is how you make a un dollar and shit." I'm like, "Damn, I'm out here like ten years old, eleven fucking selling tacos and shit." Yeah. No, yeah. no, yeah, my dad, my dad, my dad's a hustler. Yeah, my dad's a my dad's a hustler. Lo, lo, okay, like I, I, he's retired now so we could say it but um lo, lo, lo llevaban para taquizas and he would take a um a bote de canela 
y le los vendía con tequila. Lo bautizaba. Oh, on, on the side. side. On the yeah. side. Yeah. A side hustle on the side oh, hustle. Yeah. 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 Honestly, yeah. Honestly. Honestly. So my dad taught us to hustle. So he always tells us, like, ustedes no van a salir pendejas. Hey, hey, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to just say the whole story because it was... There a, you go. Was, I do it, do it. <laughs> it was at a colegero. It was at a colegero. Nah, it was, was at a colegero. Hey, hey, News flash. That's right. That's where we're going to go. It was at a colegero. I don't even want to... Say the rancho. Nah. Ah. I'm just saying. It was in Herradura. No, no, no. It wasn't there. It was like a low-key, but, you know, the state that we're from, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. So, obviously, like, there's a fee for alcohol, right? By the way, arriba Zacatecas. Arriba Zacatecas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad was like, fuck yeah, vamos a hacer um, la taquiza, whatever, whatever. So we're there. But then, you know, people were like, hey, you know, tienen un traguito. It's kind of cold and shit. My dad's like, let me think about that. We literally have canela and then it's just bottles, bottles. Yeah. On the low, on the low, tacos in uh, su canela bautizada and shit. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's how they said bang. it. They said <laughs> it. Indiana oh, took yeah. a friend. I took my shout out to my, my comay. She's from Durango. And she was like, Adiós, I swear to God, she learned how to work in like two minutes. And I'm like, don't even say she just pass yeah. the drinks. So así, drink. así le decían canela bautizada. And then about how old were you then? I was like 15, 14. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So my dad always has us hustling yeah, all, the time. all the time. We used to sell... Um, um, what didn't we sell, bro? For real. Drugs. Except <laughs> drugs. Let's just say that. We didn't sell drugs, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna I promise. Slip up. It's yeah. going to come out by the end of the episode. Uh, all right. My dad told me. After the third I'm, pass? I'm, I'm, I'm just late. I'm just late. <laughs> so our location. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> so our vendor. No. Oh, um, <laughs> la, la carne. To, la, la carne, las costillas. We sold costillas. We sold beer one we time. Charolas beer. para hacer like chicharrones. Chiles and vinagre. Uh, cuchillos, we, we anything, saw, anything my dad can find, like, can get a hold of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything we we would yeah. sell it. Yeah, yeah, we would sell it. That's but shit. Yeah. but the costilla story, that's just that, bro. I'm not doing those dedos just thinking about that shit. Yeah, fucking frozen costillas, <laughs> cortándolas. He would have us like in the line. Me, my sister, <laughs> my brother, costillas frisadas, and have them cut in a bag and it had to be 10 pounds let me just it, say this i was a brains in that in that operation yeah, I, I think i was I a had to, girl i had to write down the pounds <laughs> the libras from the box. and it had to add up so yeah. if we made x amount of bags right. and we ended up weighing them and if a pound was off we fucking we had we, to start we, all over oh, again oh shit and my dad was not having it he's like how come we're a pound off no salió el pedo ahí. That, yeah. yeah so damn and estaban frisadas so you can imagine we're like literally la 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 Pa cortar la, 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 navaja. La, la, la navaja. So it's like, zzz, like one by one. Oh. I'm like making the sound and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But our fucking fingers. And it's like, así tienen que estar frisadas. Porque, you know, se van a desangrar. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. temperature. So, so here's my curiosity now. Because I hear you guys talk about this con un chingo de entusiasmo. <laughs> and it doesn't sound like a, like a bad time, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's not too personal, then... Um, is there any reason why you guys didn't want to continue with the with the with the business technically? I mean, I think you can talk more about that. Yeah, so I literally I don't remember going to a family party my whole family. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, or, it sounds like a musician story, honestly. Yeah. No, for sure. When I, I was hearing you guys talk about that, and then you told us um in the Wackpot live that it feels different, you know, having to play at a family party than oh, yeah. just playing with your guys. And I felt that because it's like Cuando he tells me all the time, like, damn, you never went to Brookfield Zoo? I'm 32 years old. Right. And he's like, you never went to Brookfield Zoo? And I'm like, no, we were in the north side. I, we we walked to Lincoln Park Zoo. So, oh, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. what he, like, he tells me, he's like, oh, your dad never took you? And I'm like, my dad never went anywhere with us. He always had to be working. Yeah. And me, like, I, I became a mom at a young age. I, well, I was 18, but. <laughs> Girl, you grown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. So, uh, <laughs> So I don't want my kids to go through that. I don't want my kids' memories to be like, oh, I viene un cliente, escóndete abajo de, de la registradora. Oh, shit, okay. or, or my kids now, we go to any taqueria and they pick up the salsas and they take it to the counter, even if it's not our table. And it's just, that's in their head because they had to help my parents clean up, you know, the, the sure. restaurant. And it's just, that's not nothing bad. And I, I think that they're very appreciative of everything that my parents have done for us. But I don't want them to grow up with that, you know, like it's just it's a it's a different times that we're living. For sure. So I, I feel like no puedo descuidar a mis hijos. And okay. um, and that's you need to dedicate to the business 100 yeah. percent. Because if you the, the second you have an employee there, you have to trust them 100 percent. Because if a friend with comes your business, oh, yeah, if mm -hmm. a friend comes um, to eat, he's probably going to be like, hey, I'll, I'll hook you up. And maybe to that friend, it's just two tacos. But to us, that's already 
five six bucks that's out of the, the house correct so i think that's where where i was just like no my dad was like take the business and he, my husband he's like yeah let's take the business and i'm like no because you're gonna have to work in the night or in the day and i'm gonna have to either or, or. Double shift yeah. yeah um we're gonna have to each do a shift and i'm not down to to do that for my kids okay so that was a lot a lot that we missed out on family parties um funerals funerals, funerals were big party. yeah i yeah. mean for my end i just wanted to give your you know your parenting side because i know it's different for me i mean i don't have kids for me it was freedom i didn't have freedom i mean yeah. i think the times that i went to see you know viejones it was like contadas and like you know, I had a certain amount of time when she would cover for me to work so I could be a teenager and shit, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, a mí también me dan ganas de salir. And yeah. Of my, course. My friends were all here in the South, like, no, que vente aquí, que vamos a Marielas and shit. I'm like, fuck, I got to work. My shift was night, so 8 p.m. to 4 in the morning. I got, I got the bar scene, you know, yeah. and we live we live in North Center, so there's a lot of bars. That was our business. So, que chico no me ver? No, no puedo trabajar ahora porque tengo que al baile. That wasn't even an option. Yeah. Right, I was like, hey, right. bro, can you work for me? Like, I'm trying to go to this baile real quick. You know, I'll come back before midnight and shit. <laughs> Swear to God, that's literally what would, yeah. would go down. Shit. And it was like 12 or 1 and I, I would be texting her. I would be like, hey, bro, where are you? Because she has kids. So I she need has to, to go, go home, home to my yeah. kids. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, being, living my best life. But yeah. it was, it's definitely hard, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 28. And it's like some things my friends were like, no, pues yo, like, does it? Chiquilla, you know, we're like 15, 16, going to bailes, been 21. And for me, it's like I had a certain amount of time to enjoy my freedom, go out and do my shit. But I, I had to go back to work. Yeah, chinga me yo because I had kids at a young age. <laughs> Regardless, I didn't have. We're living now and We're shit. living now? No, but we'll talk like, you know, like my, I missed out on a lot of parties, a lot of like, you know, like when you're younger, I guess, barely 21, like, you know, te pica la calle and shit. And it's just right. like my friends will come to the restaurant and like pregame and I couldn't go. Hey, but now you're still a professional, right? Like, yeah. I mean, you 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 work at. Are you a teacher? Yeah. So you? I work with special ed kids, and honestly, that's one of the reasons that I didn't want to continue with the restaurant either. My passion was education. I I love helping. I love you know. I have a lot of patience for for kids and. Es que, pero no me cuida los míos. No, so that was my thing. Like you know, I I love school. Look, I am a dumbass, but I love school. Um, and if I had 50k, I'll go back and shit, but I don't. <laughs> Instead, I bought a pickup truck. <laughs> yeah, I should buy a pickup. But you hey, know, sorry, real quick. Are you guys good with drinks? Yeah, no, yeah, we're, we're good. Thank you. Okay. So, um, part of it, like I just, you know, Cynthia, like that freedom. Like once, once my dad was like, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna sell the restaurant, we're gonna pass it on to another family. It was a bittersweet moment because, like, in other words, we're like, are we just gonna start living our lives now? Like, is this is what it means to like. I I have weekends off. I can hang out with my friend, you know, celebration of a funeral. We literally had to go. If we did get a chance to go to a funeral, dos, tres horas se turnan, go back to the restaurant. Who's going to go next? Yeah, yeah, everything's in and out. Yeah. In and out. I kind of describe it now with me. I had told uh, more of the older musicians that I wanted to get together with them because I kind of feel it like it's a little bit. I have no idea how PTSD feel, feels, but if, if it's this, I think it's. A little bit of the musician kind of PTSD because it's weird. Like, you know, people that have been doing it 15, 20 years, your whole life you grew up with it, like we did. And then you just go to a family party. You're like, I'm just awkwardly sitting there. Like, yeah. and yeah. mis primos, hermanos, y hermanas. And, you know, they have kids that I haven't seen ever. Yeah. Like, oh, this is your tío and shit, the guy that's never here. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Thing. So they say that Zacatecanos party on Sundays and, and Mondays. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> well, we crazy. had to because that's the day we closed the restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Every party. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you guys do like a lot of local 150 back it, in the day or no? No. No? No, es que no salíamos. No salíamos. Like, I'm, I'm saying, but on Mondays. No, that was on Mondays. No, no, no. On Sundays. On Sundays, we threw it down. Well, family party. Oh, yeah. Oh, family party. Should we still throw it down? That's the only day yeah. that we had time. It was so weird to start family party Saturdays now. Yeah. It was, it was so, so weird. We're like, what the hell this like we have an extra day, day to recover day. yeah <laughs> that's crazy yeah. yeah so it was weird um I, honest to god it was weird i just had my little girl's birthday party this weekend yeah and my tío told me he's like me are you sure saturday you said and i'm like, like yeah. just double checking you said saturday <laughs> yeah and it was just like nobody's used to saturday saturday parties damn you guys are breaking that yeah we're breaking the habit it, it feels yeah. weird now because like you know ya mis amigos me invitan you know we're older now and ya pasamos todos en madre like you know amanecernos type of shit y rentas el airbnb right and yeah. en right, 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 right. um, ah, <laughs> yeah. no but now it's like i have time to go to my friends get together her house she just bought a house let's go see it you know my friend whatever birthday party um bautizo and it's like shit now i actually like I can't go because I don't want 
want to not because i don't have time yeah not you know? normal shit that people wouldn't even consider like right like oh it's the women before this weekend but i really don't want to go and bro. it's just like we couldn't bro for my graduation my parents closed their restaurant so they can all go yeah damn That's bullshit badass, i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna desmentirte <laughs> i was working with your brother no the second graduation Oh. From from Northeastern. Oh, you crying, bro? You, yeah, I'm gonna let you have that one. Ah. Take that back. <laughs> I'm gonna take that back. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not me here crying, yeah. but like they, oh, shit. my second graduation, it was like you know I got my bachelor's and stuff, and they the, like course, no one yeah. had no one had the time to like actually work because all my family went. So, wey, vas a hacerme llorar y yo no, wey, no, no me mires, wey, no me mires, no me mires, no me mires, like, think about it, no like, la shit, mire, like, you know what, va a llorar, va a llorar, no la mires, there's like shit, you know, like, quiero llorar, quiero llorar, quiero llorar, me hyping myself up, no, but like, honestly, it meant a lot because, you know, my parents literally put a sign, like, we're close for my daughter's graduation, yeah, of course, and like, for you to close a fucking day, that's that's money you're losing. And yeah. the last shit for me, it's okay. Yo, yo, repasé las horas and shit yeah. and my night shit. But that meant a lot to me. Right. We, we know either iba una or iba otro, and it was a lot. So, shout out to my parents <laughs> for doing out. that. Graduation, to family, graduations to are, are so well, they they mean you know? a lot, man. I just went to graduation this weekend and. Uh, just to see some of the parents, what they would do. Obviously, those morenos fucking crazy, just screaming, yeah. and screaming. Yeah. 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 But there was one Mexican lady, que si se la repo, wey. she screamed for like, at least said the next seven kids. I think that, because oh, you know what, you kind of have bro. to, bro. Like, now that I'm but older, you, you, you have to fucking make that person feel like they accomplished. No, no, that, that, that's what I'm saying. It's badass. They're badass. Yeah. We but I'm like saying crazy. it because I grew up in a family that we're very, fuck, man. Some of them, we pinches secos a veces. Like, yeah. And, and I speak for myself, too. I'm very kind of emotionless sometimes. I don't like to get very. excited, like, if something's good going on. Like, I'm just already moving on kind of thing. Really? Because yeah. we couldn't sleep knowing that we were going to come here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah, like, I've told everybody, like, my brain's already, like, five months down. Yeah, I'm here, but I'm already thinking about You're here, but you're not shit. here? Yeah. But, like, stuff like that, I mean, when you celebrate stuff, you have to celebrate stuff like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. the appreciation yeah. goes a long way. A lo mejor, like, my mom, you know, for me, it was, like, high school. It was, like, eh, hey, whatever. I didn't really fucking celebrate it like that. Like, <laughs> yeah. it was just, you know, college, I never finished it. But for me, it's like, you have to celebrate it. I'm yeah. glad your parents did. Especially now that she's looking back on it yeah. and it hit Crying. something in yeah. there. Yeah. Well, does. she was the first one in the family to there graduate college. That's huge. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. my shout out to my brother. Yeah, same, same yeah. token. Yeah, that's badass. Thank I love you. that. Oh, I, I graduated. I'm not saying we didn't. No, no, I know, I know. No, I know you did. Yeah, my family. Is, well, You're from Durango, man. No, yo cuando <laughs> cuando yo me gradué de cuando me gradué de high school, I was already pregnant. So for real, like my dad, my dad and my mom went to my graduation, and they're like, "Fuck this bitch." Like, ah, stop. <laughs> like, why are we here? I, I tell my niece, her, her 14 year old, like, "You already graduated high school. You already bro. graduated. High school. <laughs> she still needs to graduate." Yeah, so I mean, going back to the topic about like us having the restaurant. Llorar, wait. No way, ya no quiero ya ya. Wey. Ya cambia yeah. Let's go back to yeah. the ex boyfriend like, and girlfriend. Oh right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, she's yeah. really gonna cry. Um, we there, just we we wanted something different yeah. for our future, you know. For her, you know, ya tiene su familia. My brother has his family. You know, my little sister, you know, she's starting to live. Me, you know, I want to obviously one day settle down. So I think we live that. We appreciate that. And we obviously always remember. Cause I got my ass crying over here with you guys. Right. <laughs> um, and we just want something better for our kids. Yeah. Of course. You know? Well, not that that's not good because we still have a lot of family in the restaurant business. Yeah. But um, it's just it's very time consuming. And if you don't have a backbone like somebody that you know you could trust then it's a lot of lost family time and oh, yeah. that that you don't get back yeah, yeah. so it's it's yeah. it's a win and take a win yeah. and lose kind of thing too restaurants uh, restaurant hours are fucking insane compa yeah uh, i i was i What's did i did managing i always mentioned it to whoever like I, I i managed merendero the restaurant the first three years when it opened on 31st and Cicero. i did the restaurant manager and i was the nightly uh event coordinator so like Every night there was something going on. I, I pretty much scheduled it. But never in my life, prior to that, I had worked 15 years at the Board of Trade. And never in my life did I stress out as much as fucking restaurant hours. Yeah. Like, it was fucking 12, minimum 12-hour 12 days to 14-hour days, sometimes double shift. Que se acabo esto, que la chinga, que... El, that's where I realized how the customers are fucking mañosos and, yeah. and some scandalous and, you know... Ahí es donde yo aprendí que hay gente absolutamente de todo. De todo. And it's, it, I, I mean, 
that's when I stressed out the most in my life, when it was a restaurant. After three years, I went back to board trade. I'm like, fuck this yeah. shit. No, it, this it's shit, an eye opener for sure. My husband was still in the restaurant business. He llegaba and I'm like, I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Cause we know it. Yeah, man. I'm out of it. I don't yeah. want to hear it. And it's funny because you had the night, I mean, the morning shift and I had the night shift and it was like night and day. It was night and day. And uh, I couldn't, I couldn't deal with her, with her crowd. And I couldn't yeah. deal with their crowd. Yeah. So my crowd, my crowd was more chill, but demanding. Mm. It's like more like entitled type of thing. Like. Like, no, put more sour cream and don't charge me for it. I'm like, what you mean? My yeah. dad's looking at me. My dad got what my ass? Yeah. Don't charge <laughs> me right now. Yeah. What? Yeah. Um, and my crowd was drunk and right now. How yeah. fast can you make me my food? Yeah. Damn. And then I already knew people. I mean, because the, the locals, you know, um, and then they're like, just looking at me like, bitch, you're going to get my food? Like, what the fuck are you looking at? Like, what the fuck? I'm like, all right. Y yo pa no pelear. And then a lot of disrespectful people to the point where I think once I kind of like I give up no no kind of baby girl I like (laughs) like, what's going on (laughs) no kind of Uh, so she had this customer (laughs) she had this customer she argued with the customer se nos paraba en la ventana and would peek in if she was working he wouldn't walk in damn it's que like that customer at, at, towards the end I was like man we're homies it's all good you know what I'm saying <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. but like honestly like it, he, just some orders would be like this is our menu and you're ordering another menu yeah. and you want us to do it like in five minutes like you gotta pick a struggle like yeah. where yeah. we at like we can't do this shit right here y, y yo me un día it was like the tu y tu and I was like fuck this shit and my dad was like, Callate. and I'm like, no. My dad would always fuck. tell us, my, my dad has a very short temper, but my dad would always tell us, the customer is always right. Yeah. Siempre díganle que sí al customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ya cuando se salga de la puerta, díganle que chinga su madre. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, Pero no, but, yeah, that's like, him. I think I, I just totally forgot that like, I was like behind the register because he started screaming at me. And I'm like fucking 5'3". I'm like, this motherfucker really screaming at me? Like, <laughs> I can scream too? Yeah. Um, But at the end, like, it was like, no, we were selling the restaurant. Shout out to you, homie. Bye. Go scream at someone else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the scammers at the and it was a scammer the police was involved like you know and it was just like fuck man I really gotta deal with this shit at 12 in the morning 1 in the morning like for real like cosa seria yeah but restaurant life fuck your restaurant life that's suck away but yeah, if you guys but, do want to open a restaurant, my dad, my dad can hook you my up. He got, he got the connects. Yeah, I know he'll guide you. He loves guiding people. He loves talking about the restaurant. Yeah. But he'll tell you, the, like, what we're telling you is it's cosa seria. It's para invertirle. It's yeah. time consuming. You're going to miss out on a lot of things. And we, we honestly did miss out a lot. Yeah. And I think my dad was such a workaholic that he didn't see it like that. He just saw that he was providing for us. And that's what mattered. So I think um, that's where it it all took place. It's just like my dad wanted us to be in there and he didn't care about like, oh, she's not going out with her friends or her kids are waiting for her at home. It's just he was like, no, let's hustle. Let's get money. Let's make this family business grow. Yeah. Badass. Someone else I want to shout out, even though I don't know him, but I enjoyed the episode with your brother. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Yeah. It's, that was a, a very, uh, I love the way he expresses himself. How he describes it, because prior to me having my son, who's autistic, I, I I for sure, and I think it's a Mexican thing, yeah, or it could be everyone's thing, right? But an ignorance thing more than anything, you know. I I had no clue about it at all, yeah, and I you know didn't even understand it at first. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, um, and I I did certain things as a, as a parent, even, and he, he's only four. Then now I think I'm like, ah, fuck, I sucked. I shouldn't have done that, right? Because, you know, because autistic kids, uh, sensory issues. They're diff- and, they function differently. Yeah, yeah, sensory issues. They're not good with, you know, my kid's not good with dirt. And I, when he was real little, I'm like, why don't you want me in dirt? I will go and literally drop him on the dirt, like, bam. <laughs> and he's like, oh, oh, shit. And I'm like, come on, figure it out. You got to walk. You know, like, it's oh, just dirt. No. And, well, this is prior than me knowing you what know, the fuck's yeah. going on. Yeah. You got that Mexican thing, like, nah, wait, but vamos a jugar kind of thing. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, hearing your brother out, it's, it's very relatable. And a very good, very good episode on that one, too. Yeah, my brother's such a family guy. Yeah. He's such a family guy. And he he likes, um, I guess, like, focusing on on what's important, which is family, obviously. But, like, making sure that every everything's taken care of. So he educates himself. When he learned that his son had um, autism, he actually went in and tried to educate himself and kind of educate us, too. Yeah. I you kind of have to a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You gotta and let the people, uh, family know. It it was a it was an eye opener because it's like, um, I hadn't really heard about it, but like I knew about it. Like a prima of a prima son had it, hmm. and it's just like, 
I was like, oh, okay, cool. But once my nephew had it, and then it's like, oh, like that's why he doesn't want to take pictures with us, or right. or sometimes he's not in the mood, and it's just like. You, you like you said it is it is a hispanic thing it's like my mom and my dad were probably like oh no like you know just give them time or or maybe hablale más cuz my or grow out of it or yeah. something my daughter at one she was talking so much and, she, and my my mom i know that she sometimes mentioned it to my brother uh llévale el niño a Cintia ella te lo va a poner a hablar you know really <laughs> yeah. fast and it's just some things that you she didn't say it in a bad intention but i i'm pretty sure that once like my brother was like fully aware of what was going on and everything yeah. and educated himself. He was like, no, like shit, like I could have taken it a different Something's route. Yeah. yeah. But no, like props to him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I think I told you like you, if you ever talk to my brother, I feel like you guys can have a really good conversation because he goes in, he's really into, um, you know, just informing himself and informing us. I think when, you know, he told us that our, our nephew Liam had autism, I mean, I work with special kids, but they're older and they're more severe. So yo no le noté. And I'm like, no, I mean, maybe something else or yeah. maybe just Cause like... Because he's high functioning, right? Yes. Yeah. So, but for sure, like when he was diagnosed and everything was like legit, it was like, oh shit, you know, like it's just eye opening for everybody. We're just yeah. learning as, as we go with our yeah, brother. Yeah, we are. I, I, that little boy is such a joy. No. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you good or what? Ya me lo van a poner a dormir. Night night. It's an eye good. opener, yeah. bro. But you know what it also is, I think... Um, discreetly it breaks a lot of the bands and i'm coming at you because like my parents my dad especially is a little bit more hardcore like he was the one that would say like ah pues que lo tienes bien chiqueado yeah. you know or yeah. porque bitches déjamelo aquí al cabrón un ratito kind yeah. of shit right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and that's classic, just like man. that that old old school the way they were raised right and or echale ahí vinagre en el pinche labio a ver si no pisa like all these goddamn rituals they would do back in the day right. yeah and then you you figure out like you know I figured out when he was like two two years three months and you're like ah oh, shit you know it's an eye opener but it's also like nah you know what that fucking mentality that because you're programmed I was programmed to think that rough way in a way yeah. so that when my dad was telling me I did check myself and I'm like you know what maybe I am being too lo estoy chiqueando you know hijo de papi and you know doing this uh, you know and like I had a I'm like fuck maybe he's right. I got to do a little more tough love, even though he's only fucking two, right? As dumb as it sounds now, at that time, it didn't sound dumb to yeah. me, right? So then shit, shit happens, and not only does it, it's an eye-opener, but it also helps you break that fucking cycle of like, nah, you know what? Something fucking was wrong with you, motherfuckers, the way you guys were brought up, right, you know? Yeah. And um, that, that's a big thing. Shit like that happens in a way to like open a lot of fucking eyes to the whole family. But it's your, it's your first son, no? My, yeah. Okay, so that's that's. A, I mean, my none of my kids have any any um like autism or anything. But um, my daughter creció con un, un lunar. Okay. Everybody would tell me rub a strawberry. Se te antojó una strawberry when you were pregnant. Ah, how about I, that? And, and then I was like, <laughs> I was like fucking <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> but by the time like cuando ya iba creciendo, it actually started looking like a strawberry. You remember that? Hell yeah, I do. So it, it like it looked like a strawberry, and I'm like fucking shit. I don't even fuck with strawberries. <laughs> And it's just like, I estoy de pendeja, rubbing a fucking strawberry. <laughs> and it's just, it's just, you, you go by, you, you're like your first time parent. So you go by what they're, what telling, they're telling you and you, right. you like, you don't want to fuck with your, uh, fuck up your, your parenting. So obviously like, no, like it, you weren't at fault. It's just, you're learning as you're going. Yeah. And it's just, it's, it's things like this. And I, I tell my husband all the time, I'm pretty sure aut autism has been um, years. Oh, for sure. But it's just sure. par parents. And like grandparents, especially in the Hispanic community, treated it differently. Yeah. Or or th and that's the thing that I always tell him, like, no, like don't like vamos a una visita and don't judge the little boy that's screaming and crying yeah. because you don't know what's behind it. Not every parent is open to be like, hey, my son is going through this, this, and this. So I was just like, you can't judge him or you can't go home and be like, hey, oh. Antes de llegar a la casa, esa, esa señora tiene unos pinches yeah. chiquillos bien yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no hay que con la comadre porque pinche chiquillos yeah. diablos. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah like all that shit. Yeah. You just start uh, seeing things way fucking different. Like, yeah. You just start like, oh, man. Si es otro pedo. That was one of my favorite what? fucking episodes right there. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> it was, uh, your brother definitely, it's crazy how much he knows, you know? Like, yeah. he informed himself 100%. Yeah. And he, he did everything he could for him to, you know, yeah. be better off. You know? Suegra's you one was good. All the dates, oh, all the dates they... Uh, that he remembers. Oh yeah, no. I'll if be, you tell I'll him, be like, if you tell him his yeah. birthday, I love birthday. the suegras one. <laughs> no, yeah. If you tell him my, my nephew his your birthday, he'll 
call you on your birthday because yeah. that's the day he remembers and that's your that's, birthday. If you so if you celebrate ass. your birthday the day before, he's like, that's not your birthday. Yeah, I, I can't say happy birthday. They have an insane memory, don't they? He, like, he has uh, an uh, amazing yeah. memory. Amazing Little genius type shit, like yeah, yeah. yeah like, they're we, super smart. Yeah, yeah. we were gonna. That's what it is. That's we were gonna is, celebrate like, my mom's birthday um, in July. In July, because she's from January. Because she's from January, and um, he he put that in his head. And now when you ask them, he's like July, and then we had to tell him like, no, that was gonna mm-hmm. be her party, and then now her birthday, and now he remembers. Yeah, like that her, her birthday's yeah. in January, but the party was in July. I, yeah, I literally just did that today. My nie- <laughs> my niece's birthday party. But her birthday's not for like another month. I saw uh, that little like, yeah. like, yeah. that we will oh, do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're like, it's not even her birthday. Yeah. Yeah, it's not her I birthday. saw that. I did that. Funny thing, bro. Uh, she's, for the last three months, she's been telling people, hey, my birthday's coming up. I'm having a Minnie Mouse cake. You Aww. know, and my mom's in town right now. So uh, my mom's like, let's just throw the party. You know, Aww. before I get out of Can't here. Can I give so, it a chat? Yeah. Yeah, she's here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was cool. So we got to uh, sing her happy birthday. And she was... You know, having the time of life. That was right now I before you got here. Then? Before I got here, wait. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I saw that on the way here. Okay, I was like, LOL, that's some shit Cindy would do. And I would be fucking there with the fucking It's gonna be happy birthday too. I put, yeah. up, <laughs> I put up the streamers, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling my sister, I'm like, you better remind her when she's older that I was right there at 30 years old putting up streamers <laughs> for her <laughs> to throw her a birthday party on her napper. Take a picture, well, it didn't shout happen. Out my baby. Right. Shout out Ellie. Yeah, it, did. it happened. Oh, yeah, happy birthday. Yeah. Ellie Rose. Happy birthday. Yeah. The other one I wanted to touch, compa, real quick is the Suegras one. Ah, that one's a good one, too. I know you like that one, too, compa, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, those are. Yeah. They the, had a lot of good episodes. The, the Suegras even... one, we could have gone in deeper, but uh, I'm not going to point any point. fingers. I was, I was waiting for you to say that because I'm like, I ain't married. I don't got shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, um, it's uh, totally different. You know, you have somebody to respect. So, yeah. so it was harder to do. But I did send a message to my suegra and I'm like, hey, you know, me and my sister started a podcast and um, this topic has been requested. Is it OK if I talk about it? Not going oh, personal. And I told him, but he chickened out. He's like, hey, oh, no, I'm not calling my mom. <laughs> you, you call her. You call her. Yeah, to call her. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, you call her. You and handle how that. Did she, t- she was like, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, she's like, whatever. I, I mean, I, I told her I wasn't going to go in anything personal. Respectfully. Yeah. Respectfully. Because I didn't have a But, <laughs> but um. But yeah, so we couldn't go in deep in that one. And obviously, she's not married. So it's totally different when there is like, oh, chill on me, bro. Damn, I'm trying to get married one day. Ah. <laughs> bro, <laughs> every you episode, you're like, but I'm single. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. just saying. Uh, so the swagger episode, yeah, the straight people were like, messages, especially people that know us were like, yeah, I could have gone in. I'm yeah. Like, but respectfully, like, Cinta está casada, you know what I'm saying? Like, she did message her swagger. So I'm going by her because that's that's my partner, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I'm and, with that. Uh, Go ahead, go ahead. That's the only one where we wrote things down. Yes. Because okay. all of our podcasts, I swear to God, there's kind of like a, scripted, you mean? Or, yeah, yeah, or yeah. Like not scripted. Like yeah, points, kinda, bullet points. Like bullet, bullet points, okay. yeah. yeah, bullet points. Because uh, there's been podcasts where we're like, what, like she's literally turning on the camera. She's like, what are we going to talk about? And I'm like, bro, you don't have a topic? What like, you mean? I, after school, it takes me like an hour 30 to get from the north side to Cicero. So I like, I'll be like, whatever, fucking listening to fucking like I went on and shit. Yeah. And like I get there and like she's doing her side business and I respect her time because she's fucking busy and I make right. time when she's available. So I'm literally setting up, yo, you know, bitch camarita and shit. And like next thing you know, and I'm like, we're sitting down and we're like, bro, the camera's a lot. And she's like, what the requests are just like shit that people have been messaging us. I'm like, you want to talk about that? Like, all right, let's talk about that. And that's literally that's we just, how we start we our just, most of them or all of them. All, yeah. all of them. All you of them. Kind of go off what they're they're telling you. A yeah, bit? yeah. No, uh, so what they request. Yeah. Right. So if somebody just like you know was going through a breakup or somebody talked to us and it's like oh we're going through this we're like okay we'll talk about this or yeah. or um <laughs> there's been times too that we actually have planned what we're gonna talk about and then she gets to my house and like I mean I'm full on the life ninety percent of the time ninety nine. <laughs> um. So she'll get to my house and I'm getting ready. And then um, she's like, oh, we're talking about this. And then we'll say it. And then she's like, no, no, no. Stop like, talking no, about it. Don't that's it. Shit. Just, yeah. just leave it for so the So we recording. won't talk yeah. nothing yeah. about the episode. And I, I, I feel like that's how it comes out more genuinely. Yeah, just more natural. Just like... Uh, once again, our 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 logo or you know our slogan is "Dos hermanas platicando about real shit." Just like if I would have pulled up, you know, because her we take recording in her basement and I'm gonna her kitchen. I'm like, hermana, guess what happened today? Right. Yeah. You know, just like you know, this doesn't this happen. And mira lo que me mandó and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like just like pull up the receipt. Right. Pull up the receipt. So just like it's in our head, but once the we record, then we talk talking like just like una plática. Yeah. And then, and then how long have you? When did this start? The the podcast exactly about. <laughs> 
It was in our in boxes for a long time in her basement for, <laughs> for yeah. like two months, three months, uh, like three months. And okay, so in like October, we started. Yeah, well, we started thinking about it in October. In October, yeah, and then um, it didn't happen until January. January, where I think the because what New we Year's, New Year's, we New Year's. celebrated New Year's. Yeah, okay. and then we're like, oh, let's just take these out, and that's how it all started. But um. I, like I, I was telling you earlier, a lot of personal things got in the way. Yeah. And it didn't feel right because, you know, we're not fake. Like, um, somos bien malabladas. And okay. that's one thing that my husband tells me all the time. He's like, but you don't curse that much in the pot. And I'm like, yeah, because I don't want just you and my sister to hear me. Like, not this one, la otra. Esta, esta <laughs> me tiene que escuchar. So um, I want more people to listen to us. So I, like, if I see somebody that's cursing like a fucking sailor sailor every fucking minute there i go you see the, my sister comes <laughs> Damn, I fucked hey, up. But, but at I the same up. time you don't think that it's uh i think that's kind of like you know it's you right yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so but like if somebody that do- has never heard about us goes and clicks on the video and it's like a girl because you know everybody has a stereotype that girl yeah everybody's gonna like you know be like oh this girl shouldn't be cursing that much or her kids i curse in front of my kids my kids have never cursed in front of me my daughter's gonna be 14 my daughter has never cursed in front of me Mm -hmm. like she'll be like shut but like she'll stop there she won't say anything but like (laughs) as you know we have an amazing relationship but my kids have never cursed in front of me of course i know they curse right but um but it's just, half, but, mom. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate you mom bitch yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but um but that's you know that just shows that the respect that we have you know as a family and i tell my husband all the time like not because my kids hear me curse all the time they're gonna expect me to go on youtube and curse so i want more people to listen to us more people to actually give us a chance um you, a lot of guys también like you know you said the the guys listen to us Thank you, guys. Shout out to the guys. Shout out to yeah. the, that's what I want. I want the guys to yeah, listen to Yeah, because that's us. what we want. We, we don't want somebody to just turn on uh, our video or our audio and be like, oh, son, son dos viejas. Bitches, 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 you know, everybody listen to us. Yeah. So that's part of it. I don't curse as much in our pod because I don't want to give off that wrong impression. I want people to give us a the Good time chance, of day you know and us. then maybe like you know 15 minutes in i'm like i'll throw fuck this and fuck that like ah, vale, madre, but yeah. okay. <laughs> i think you guys wouldn't believe how many people oh man it. you don't go by yeah. that's um, what i'm thinking too man today i just don't want to story today today i'm gonna shout out my boy ozzy real quick he works with me we work construction you know uh-huh. and um i listen to my shit full blast i don't give a fuck who's around you know i don't care he does the same and uh, we work on the same floor right now you know and he comes into my room and I fucking turned down whatever I was listening to. I was listening to music today. And uh, he just busts out his phone and he presses play. And it's one of the parts where you're like, bitch. And, yeah. he's like, <laughs> and he just looks at me. He fucking busts out laughing and he walks Aww. out the room. But, you know, he, he fucking, he's like, that's why I fuck with them. They're Aww, just so okay. real. Like, so yeah. Yeah. Thank completely you. opposite yeah. of what you guys are Thank probably you. thinking. You know, oh, okay. like people... People like that. They could tell that's who you guys are. You're yeah. being real. Thank you. You, know, so you literally said that. That's why I fuck with them. So Aww. shout out my boy Ozzy. Big oh, fan. Okay. Shout him out. Shout you know? him out. <laughs> so oh, yeah, yeah, that's what my husband says. He's like, pero si no hablas. And, uh-huh. and it's just like, yeah, I don't talk like that, but maybe maybe I'm next to you. Know hey, you, know you, know what? What? you guys should do an episode where you do swear. Yeah. Because I just, honestly, I'm just listening to you and, and I understand what you're saying. But at the same time, I'm just thinking like, damn, man, as, as much as she thinks, let's just say she's going to lose one out of three listeners. I think she's going to gain fucking triple the listeners. Yeah. Honestly, because yeah. it, it's not that it's a normal thing, but it's, it's a more normal thing. And sometimes we do shit unconsciously like that or consciously because we are also worried about like, I kind of stopped in a way, not caring, right? But like, I didn't want like my parents to know I smoked, right? Yeah. But then I just smoked because it's me, you know, and I right. stopped kind of like hiding it in a way. And I kind of feel like, you know, I, I'm conscious that I have nephews that can see me smoking, right? And it could be, quote unquote, a bad example. So if I'm swearing a lot, it could be a bad example. But at the same time, like, well, well you know, it's not like the end of the fucking world like you know it's only a fucking curse word here and there yeah Yeah. it's not like i'm teaching him to do like truly bad fucking things like we're 
we're, that's how we talk. Yeah. I think, I mean, that's, especially like someone like, you know, you, obviously your husband will send you, hey, that's, that's how you talk. I think maybe if you can, do one with just... Full just blast. Let her, yeah, that's just what she's told me too, like but I think, real, what was yeah. it, our, our mom or somebody yeah, told uh, my mom? So when we first started, my mom and my tia in Mexico. Yeah. She messaged us, <sighs> mi tia in Mexico. And she's like, mija, no, no digan tantas malas palabras. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah. See, well, there, that, that's, to me, that's what happened it, right there. Yeah. 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 It's and, more of a family thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not going to talk for you guys, right? But now I'm seeing it like, all right, my mind was right. Like, it's, you know, you start worrying about, and that's the big thing. When you start worrying about what other people, especially, <laughs> even family, and it's such, it's such a weird position to be in, right? Because yeah. you're like, fuck, I'm kind of, I'm kind of going to lose the respect my family has for me and shit. Or, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. But then, well, you're still not being you and shit. Like, yeah. It's just weird, right? Dude, like, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry to cut you off. But yeah, she sometimes she, she will tell me, because sometimes, like, we just fucking curse all the time. And we're like, man, we shouldn't be saying that shit. Like, we'll but, but no, we're not Bulgares. So no, that's, no Bulgares, that's, yeah. that's, right. where, that's yeah. what happened that episode. Yeah, that no we, pasamos. like, nos pasamos. We, like, yeah, <laughs> we use the, we excited, use the bigger, Ryan. the bigger I, word. I, 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 so, so that <laughs> forgot, like, like if we were girls or guys or they or she, they, yeah. they or whatever the fuck. So I told like, her, we just kept going. Like, I told her, fuck. talk how you would talk in front of my mom. That's, that's what I said. Okay. Because my mom does share all of our podcasts. Shout my mom, mom always. <laughs> shout out. Shout out to my Saludos. mom. Saludos. Saludos a la My poor mom were like her two signals at the ranch. Cause okay, I know I know I know that shit, like, you have an iPhone, that shit turns green, and she's like, Android, no offense. Fuck yeah. I'm in Illinois. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't even think no, I, 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 I haven't even heard of it. Heard of it. <laughs> when you look at me, yeah. when, yeah. when you said it, I was That's like, great. oh. Thank you. No. Okay. Yeah, fuck, before we get, se nos va a pasar otra vez. Yeah. We're smoking on some apple oh, fritter. There you How's go. that? You like that? And the uh, usual. Did you like it? How you doing? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, lo tiene muy seco. Bro. <laughs> Are you <laughs> drinking? Are you good? Take him that one. Take him that one. Dele ese también ahí. Picha apple fritter. Take that one. That's our screen. You. Sorry, we had to interrupt that one. <laughs> you just, and you fat right I, I I know. I'll just say, it, it helps to you, sleep. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Is that I think so? it helps Is that for a lot of things. It helps like, for a lot of things. I mean, yeah, I, there you I, go. I literally, I fucking... Like I said, I, I get the drive from Aurora to downtown. I smoked all. And you don't tweak or anything? No. no. It's not you like fucking shit like in the car. T-Rex I mean, on the 55. There, oh, no, no. What is it? And I mean, in the morning, people drive fast. That's my excuse for me saying I drive fast. You oh. know, like, no. fuck. And I mean, I don't know. That's just. I can't drive fast when I'm when I'm high. I don't know. Just like every time. I just, but I got to. I don't know. Jose knows. It's natural, but that's what I'm saying. I can go to work perfectly yeah. fine. My boy, Ozzy, that I work with, asked me, like, how the fuck do you do it? Because we're riding together right now, so he sees how much I smoke. He's like, how the fuck do you do it? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I just need to get high to fucking work. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're that's fucking do. unique, motherfucker. Nah, yeah. I mean, that's just Smoking me. at work. No, that's how much I'm dead on the For real, Loki. Whole time you can't he see th- He's thinking about no, it, too. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I know what I'm doing, you know? I've been there five years. Like. So now you guys are like a year, a year into, oh, no, a little um, bit more than a year now, right? Uh, or is it this January? Sorry. No, no this, this January. January. Oh, okay. five so months. you're going for a year. Yeah, five the, months in. Next, next in. January. Yeah, I told her, I was like, are we going to cut the season? What's going on? Like, how does this podcast life work? Yeah, yeah Loki. How does I don't, it work? I don't, yeah. think, I don't think in, uh, well, it's up to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Ya llevamos como 40 y esta todavía no quiere season 2. Uh, <laughs> no, no es cierto. I mean, you guys are, you guys are doing it uh, consistently. Yeah. I had told uh, my boy check one, and no, uh, the compas unfiltered knowing. Yeah. Hey, just don't stop. And I think yeah. I've always um, sent you guys and them and, and Paula from For Real, For Real, who I was Shout tripped out. out. I have a little side story that day of the brewery, kind of like, holy shit, it's, it's you, It's you, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you told yeah, me Yeah, like, crazy. oh, that, she was like, oh, I told the girls you were my soccer coach. I'm like. What the fuck is, <laughs> is this, Paulo? <laughs> like, yeah. Then I remember, like, oh, she was like a freshman, and I was, I was That's a fucking soccer coach. Crazy. It was crazy. It's a small world. Uh, now that you brought it up, I, honestly, I just want to give a big shout out to yeah. you guys for bringing us together because now we have a podcast family. Yeah, yeah. you guys had. Uh, nunca los habían conocido a ninguno. No, jamás. No, estábamos encerrados en el pinche restaurante. <laughs> hey, hey, we were flipping tortillas. Yeah. We were flipping shit. tortillas yeah. and cutting costillas. Yeah, low key. But That's you were going to see Viejones a few times, so you knew you knew Viejones. No, I, I did because no. my best friend, you know, he would have like his fundraisers and shout he would. Out. Shout, shout out to Juan Mora. My boy Juan um, Mora, baby. Right. Puro yeah, Michoacán. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I would see him like, oh shit, you know, um, they're playing and shit, but like back to work, you know? Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. Yeah. But no, shout out. Thank you to you, yeah. to you guys because we have literally a podcast 
podcast fam, but we have a group chat. <laughs> we have so a, sh- yeah. so shout out Stop to Checo, ch- shout out to um, Noe, shout out to you know our comadre um, Paula. Paula, because now we're li- legit like we literally fuck with each other. Yeah, yeah. Like I support 100. Like I look forward to Wednesdays because my podcast family is, is on Wednesdays and we're on Mondays. Yeah, you know right, what I'm saying. Yeah. So we gotta support. We gotta show yeah. Up. So thank you, Carlos, yeah, for, thank you. for bringing oh, yeah, us yeah. together, doing was, that. It, it El padrino. El padrino. Oh yeah, it fits. El, there you go. I, now I know what they're No nickname. About. We're good with Carlos. Sure. I, I went with the. I went with the father. <laughs> I went. I, I said father. Diana's like no padrino. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he Diana, definitely. Look, he's the one that put me on, and yeah. I mean, I checked them out, and I, you guys I put out, everybody and, on. And, yeah, you did. You did. And yeah, man, you guys are badass. No, I doing what you guys are doing for sure. Thank you. Thank you. You could tell. And I mean, it, it, like you guys are saying, if that's not genuine, I want to see genuine. You yeah. Know? I see <laughs> no, most the of the time blast, it is genuine. You know? It's just like our cursing words, like. No, no, um, yeah, just res- that. respectfully, like I was just, I'm like, oh shit, I don't want to say that porque me voy a mi culera mi mamona and shit. But nah. other than that, like, no, nah, fuck you, yeah, no, fuck me are, back and shit. <laughs> I listen all the fucking, you know, like. Um, thank you. Thank you. Guys are, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, no, we're good. good. Yeah, thank you. What's your point? I think we're already secondhand smoking, so we're all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're hotboxing this I bitch. I was not hotboxing. <laughs> yeah, I, I um, that was fucking not really. Uh, I don't want to say on purpose, right? Like I, I, I didn't expect that it was gonna work that much. Yeah. Right? In that sense, I had told Michael Butterfly, like, look, I want to do everything opposite than how we handle the music business part. Uh, like I said earlier, like we're very low key. Like if we were recording an album. We very rarely gave sneak peeks and shit okay. and, yeah. and did 30 second story like nah. We're gonna release it till it's released, kinda like the AMG beer. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um and I told him, but I wanna be very opposite over here. Like I wanna be able to be able to uh put people on shit that I listen to because I listen to a lot of fucking podcasts. And then I started looking for local because I when the Wakapa thing happened, it just fucking you know, I had been thinking about that for about when Bihon has been down for three years. The very first year after, I had told Fry, like, hey, I want to do a podcast. And it's going to be this, this, this. I'm like, but I'm going to wait another year to another two years because I want to make sure because I've been singing fucking 24 years. So we waited, and then I just pulled the trigger with pandemic. I'm like, ah, fuck it, we're going to do it. Y ahorita que todos los grupos tienen chance de venir because before, like, they Everybody's practice, fuck- they fucking play, they yeah. would never be able to come. So when that happened, I told him, like, look, Let's uh, let's fucking approach out of this little little platform that we have, the following, and I'm gonna start sharing on the stories, you know what I'm listening to and shit. So a lot of people fucking uh, listen to chingonas uh, that that are f- close friends, uh, and they fucking do love it. Way no, we love appreciate it. We appreciate it because you that for real. You know, funny story. So you shared our pod that day. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. And she was in my house. <laughs> And I'm like, what the fuck happened? Yeah, look. Oh, it, like the first time I shared it. Yeah, the, yeah. Fir- the very okay. first time. And we're like, what the fuck happened? Look at our views. We couldn't figure out and what we, happened. We were, we were looking back on our Facebook page, like, mm. I mean, who like, had maybe shared my it? Maybe Tia and shit from Mexico and my mom <laughs> well, shared it and shared it. What did the caption there? It was on a fucking chain or something on yeah. Facebook. Like, what the fuck is happening? Or we did something in the video, right. and I'm like, what happened? That it's the numbers were growing with seconds. Yes, mm. and it's just like. I mean, obviously, we had just started, like, ¿qué sería? Yeah, well, it was that, yeah, right? It was but pretty I, early on. Yeah, so it was just like, we were, in that video that, that was shared, it was just like, the response was crazy. Yeah. And it was just like, 400 views, 500 views. Which one was that one? Um, I, don't I don't know which one you shared. But then we figured out it was you guys. We're like, no, no, it, 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 <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> yeah. literally, she, you figured it out. Yeah, because I am never She's on FBI, Instagram. by the way. I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm FBI for sure. You guys need any any You want to know if your girl's cheating on you? I got you. <laughs> my, my sister. <laughs> my, husband, my husband doesn't know he's cheating on me but before. <laughs> you don't even think about yeah. it. She already knows. <laughs> already got her number. Nice right. <laughs> her DM is shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, so I'm never, on, I'm never on Instagram. I'm always on Facebook. And I'm on Instagram. And I'm never on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. But, um, but obviously, we were fans of El Wakpod. She's put me on Wakpod. 
Okay. Well, he mentioned it to me. Let me just say that before he fucking shouts it and out. Shout him out. <laughs> Literally, yeah, it was like, out. I'm always at their house, obviously. <laughs> and it was like, oh, walk pot. Oh, what episode you want? Or like, what are you watching? You're walking and it's oh, like. Oh, did you like this episode? Lit. Yeah. And walk pot on. I'm like, shit. Like, it's like, it's like a fucking like a thing to look forward to. No, and yeah. We no, we no, always no. have caso mil in the house. All the time. I'm telling you. I, I, didn't I tell you? It's like fucking milk and caso mil. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> we would we would literally, <laughs> like, I would be watching your episode and, you know, post that I was drinking a caso mil before the pot. Oh, Before shit, okay, we started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then, um, well, back to that that story of that day. She's in the house and I'm like, somebody shared it. She goes home. I'm in, in my bed looking at my stories. And I fucking like, I didn't even see who who shared it. And I see Chingona talk about it. And I'm like, who the hell because this is before <laughs> the family started where yeah. it's like oh we're all sharing our yeah. our podcast yeah and i was like and i text her right away i'm like bro yeah los padrinos shared yeah. us okay, we're <laughs> like <gasps> i said i think i said like no mames we, I was like, we were like fucking whole time that was it we were como se dice fan struck or como se dice i think we're still fan struck or whatever yeah, fan yeah. Struck, yeah. 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 No, because like literally, like we, we we love your yeah. you know your your podcast and stuff. So here we are looking at the fucking YouTube, and then here you are shouting us out. We're like, bitch, here we are now. <laughs> no, exactly. Like, yeah, right. Are no, on our way here. Shit, we are. Now. <laughs> on our way here, we're like, who the fuck are we? Yeah, we said that. We said that because it's just it's so surreal that it's just we're us. Yeah. We're two sisters literally talking shit. Um, for real, like we just recording it now. Right. <laughs> And um, it, it's so surreal that it, people actually fuck with us. People yeah. actually like us. Yeah. And it's just, we're ourselves. Right. You know, nothing scripted. And it's 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 an eye-opener because yeah. it's like, damn, we had this in us all the whole time. Whole bro. time. Right. And, and, and like, yeah. Yeah. So my dad... <laughs> my, yeah. I got a buddy who says that to yeah. me. So yeah, my, my dad said that like because it's like, it's something new to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. it's like, how do you expect... Like, how do you explain a podcast to my just, mom and my dad? Yeah. And, and I was just like, oh, we're locutoras. Bro, we went from taqueras to fucking podcasters. Yeah. Yeah. Guess que influencers, no mames. Influencers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> influencers. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, well, yeah. El otro día estaba en Canes y una girl se me quedaba viendo and I'm like, Okay. She, yeah, yeah. she told me she okay. was like she was like bro like you know like I went to the store with him and she said on and some girl was like staring at me and like my first thing was like was she paisa she probably watches chingonas or here chingonas like I don't know but she kept staring at me like maybe they're starting to recognize like should we get ready now like yeah we <laughs> no we we went to a corner store we went to a corner store and yeah. then like I kept the dije I was like oh okay. like that girl's looking at me yeah. weird. And then she's like, you think she recognizes? I'm like, bitch, chill. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Calmate tu pedo. Bájale tres rayitas. They already recognize Bart. Yeah, Bart. Yeah, Bart. Yeah, Bart. He's like, yo, Bart, oh. <laughs> nah, Famous in Aurora and shit. Whole time. En la Aurora. Lo más en Aurora. Acá no me conoce nadie. Acá por muy bien, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it fucking worked, man. I mean, the the idea worked as far as like, and I, it worked as far as like, I wanted people to just listen. Like, uh, Igual con mi compa Checo. Like, like yeah. I said, I, I know Checo pretty much, I can say our whole lives, but I didn't grow up with him. I just know who he was. Primo de mi primo, and I knew who he was, and I reached out to him right away. When I seen that he, uh, because he's in the music thing too, so I, he popped out first, I think. And I listened to him, and I kind of, you know, I fucking like it. I, I like what they were doing, and and um, I'm like, all right, fucking compa's unfiltered. And then I think then, then I, I seen you guys, and then, well, then that's where for real, for real with Paula, the side story with Paula is like, I guess I coached her in high school. Not I guess, I did at mm -hmm. Kennedy High School. Shout out, Kennedy Crusaders. <laughs> <laughs> Shout them yeah. out. And um, public school. then she's like, oh, yeah, I just told the girls you were my coach. And I'm like, holy shit, like all this time, <laughs> I would see a Paula share and shit, but I don't know who she, she was. Know who was. And then... Um, She's it was her shit. Paula, her soccer team. Paula Garcia, I think, is her last name. No, yeah. Now, That's even nice. like... Um, and now I'm, they have a group chat and shit. Yeah. <laughs> we do. Shout out to Paula. She did start it. Yeah. We got the reply back because we were busy with her daughter's <laughs> birthday party. Yeah. We, yeah. Sunday. I mean, Saturday was my daughter's birthday party. That's when uh, she made the group chat. So yeah. we still have to reply to yeah, that. I, I, love, I love being like... Like, I reply on, you know, Instagram and, like, just a group messages. Because, like, I don't want people to feel ignored. Like, who the fuck are we? Like, taking our sweet ass time. Um, but on Saturday, we were busy because we were running around doing a whole Barbie World theme for her daughter. Mm -hmm. So, you know, then I was gay, you know. Familia con descendente. Es que ya, los sábados, ya, parties and shit. Yeah. 
But um, I was going to say, now the, the guys that are listening, and they're like, oh, El Wakpa yeah, put, put me on. Yeah. Yeah. If, that's, if it's a guy, 90% of the time, siempre dicen eso. El yeah. Wakpa put yeah. me on. Yeah. And it's just like, that's that's nice, you know, because you didn't have to go out of your way to do that. Like, you know, you you were more in the music scene, so nosotros nada que ver. So yeah, we really totally appreciate that. And it, like, yeah. mad respect, because that, that brought a whole community together yeah you know and it's just now um i um tino from potrillos, potrillos yeah. was saying that oh he, my boy boogie yeah, yeah. that oh, he I listens put them on. I yeah, put them on yeah, yeah. And it, you're putting a lot of people on thank yeah, you yeah and it's just like like me on my end i don't know how you feel but me on my end it's just like like i i grew up like you know loving potrillos and listening to you guys and it's just like now like they're actually listening to me like and it's just like okay like i mean that sounds cocky and stupid right. but like it's like we have our our following already and they're actually listening to us right and it's just it's a it's a whole different vibe cuando they mention like parts in between our our podcast no namas the beginning or or like it's they just quote like, us like, they oh quote shit us. they're really quoting our dumbasses like that's what's up yeah and they're guys <laughs> and they're guys listening watching to a girl's like podcast like who the fuck are we? Yeah, yeah like that. Who the fuck are we? I'm gonna start saying. <laughs> yeah. That shit. Who the fuck are we? We say it all the time. Yeah. Oh, or oh, um, we did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. When yeah. we get we get a like a couple new subscribers, we're like, bro, we did it, Joe. We did it, yeah. 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 Batman and Robin. Yeah, it's it's a fucking. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, though, there there's a followership. Um, la pinche gente le gusta. I mean, and this is only the beginning. Yeah. I th- I feel like so just keep being consistent as fuck. The every week thing and and all that. And my compa Checo too. What do you guys think about that idea I threw at you guys? I'm gonna touch this right now, compa. About um, I had to my compa. I was thinking about, and I mentioned it to you guys. I think at the live about the whole pod- podcast network. Oh, it- so I was thinking of doing uh, with partnership with Jose uh, Casomilde. Shout out to my boy Jose Lopez. Yeah. Um, out. He's a big podcaster, so we listen to tons of podcasts. And then I told him, like, you know what? Um, let's fucking do a Aguacate Podcast Network. Because I just feel that it's the future in a way. Like, uh, we're a little bit behind on it in, a, in some sorts. Yeah. You know, because if Joe Rogan ha- can have millions of fucking views, <laughs> you know, we kind of need that in the our culture kind of thing. And I think Chicago is so huge. I mean, we got millions of people. Why not? Like, why yeah. couldn't it happen? Yeah. For sure. So it's like, all right, well, let's do a podcast network. And... I mentioned it to you guys. I mentioned it to my boy, Compass uh, Unfiltered. And it's not something like, I hate bringing it up, but like the whole jinxing thing, I wasn't going to bring it up. But I also checked myself and I, I remember me telling Fry, we're going to do everything opposite. You know, I want to I be able to do this and see if it treads different. You know, like if I do bring it up, maybe um, I guess it could be in a way for me as inspiration to inspire others to want to be on the a game in in the podcasting world and and give it a little bit more thought of, of what you guys are doing because because i think it's working and that's like with not even a like a huge push per se you know yeah we're we're you know we're blessed to be able to have a team of people that push on our side knowing from uh compas asked me hey do you think the whole what got the thing helps of course like you know we have people that a followership itself I'm like, but because of that, then I'm like, well, why not do a podcast network? Like, start kind of looking at other podcasts to bring them into the Aguacate family for podcasting category, per se. Yeah. No, that? That, that's amazing. And it, yeah. I just, yeah, I, I feel like they're putting a whole different, I mean, you guys, obviously, are putting a whole different respect on podcasters. Because, like you said, exactly. it's, you know, we are big here in Chicago. And there's a lot of talent. We just, you know, need a little push. And, um... For sure, we started our podcast because of El Walpad. Um, It was totally different, but it's just, we knew it. It's just like, oh, these guys are, you know, from Chicago and they're doing their thing. Let's do our thing too. Yeah. So, and um, I know a couple people um, have told us like, oh, you know, we just started. Oh, we're nowhere to be big. But it's just, it's it's a whole family and we need to push each other. And that, that idea was amazing when you yeah. told me about it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're fucking down, but I mean... Mis respetos because of the whole walk pod. Like you have united 
like grupos and like everyone from Chicago, Aurora, you know, the, the Chicago area. And we're watching and like we're I mean, we're girls and stuff. We're like invested in watching these grupos and how they went about and their, their background and stuff. So if you could do that and then do a whole podcast, you know, industry like holy shit and just, different content. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's females. Like exactly. it's just a whole different fucking level in a way. You yeah, know? chingonas females. Chingonas. Yeah. 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 chingonas talk Keyword, about chingonas. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Anything, anything that you guys got coming up that you guys uh, um, can share? I, merch? Is there merch? Well, everybody's been asking yes. about merch. Right. And um, Cindy's Creations has to get on that because... She's busy, man. Yeah. She, Mother's Day hit me and it's just yeah. like, we were supposed to come out with, with merch a while ago. Yeah. Um, actually, before we went to uh, record with the compas... Uh, Compass Unfiltered, we were like, oh, we're going to take merch over there. Yeah, we're going to have a pinche camisa or algo and shit. Llegamos con un seis. Llegamos con un seis. Yeah, yeah. Y nos fuimos con un remix. Yeah, y nos fuimos con un remix and then fucking chingándonos en el express. No, but uh, honestly, like, uh, you know, Cynthia does have her little crafts on the um, business on the side. So she's, we're working on a logo. We're working on something that represents us that you guys and girls can wear. Um, but I mean, we're in a low budget entertainment. We're not a yeah. fucking walk pot over here. Yeah. And shit. I know a graphic <laughs> a designer. Oh, yeah. I know a graphic designer. And I think he has my last name. I'm the same. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, that's true. Yeah. Copa Fry, we're primos. talking to you. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Shout out Fry. Hey, we just talked too. Guys. We're like, I'm a Fry. Fry. I, I told him yeah. about that. Yeah. I told him about yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, where you going? Yeah. <laughs> we're just going over here, bro. Where you going? Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up, Copa? You're not gonna say. Well, he's a he's a day shift. Oh, okay. Yeah. I go by Fry's here from like 11 to 7 and shit. And I give him six. shit every time. Yeah. He, every time I get why here, he's leaving? leaving. Why the fuck are you leaving, Fry? I just got here. Fuck you. Bardo, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Take stuff. that personal. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. No, it is personal. That's true. No, it, it is. is. Personal. It's not a secret. He don't yeah. like you. Oh. <laughs> me, me and Fry ain't that cool. Yeah, but, but That's we... shout him out, though. Shout yeah, out shout out Fry. Out Fry. Um, like, but we hope to get good, like... And he pan pesa, like who the fuck are we, you know? Right. Yeah, he's this way. Yeah, he's this way. Because we pack mas pa que digan, you know, like we're like all oh, these bitches over here fucking getting some nice session. No pena, ¿cómo se dice? Like how who's that and shit. No, but like just shit that we could afford realistically and like give our supporters something like, oh, I'm rocking the shirt, like pinche camisa toda rompida and shit. But like <laughs> just with our logo <laughs> and you're like, oh, something chingona. that represents us exactly. Yeah, like and, yeah. A lot of people have reached out to guys and girls. Yeah. yeah, they're like, "Hey, where's your merch? Hey, um, I would wear a shirt with this saying on." Yeah, like for especially our sayings, like yeah. just shit that we randomly fucking say. I Cosa guess. Seria. Cosa seria, respectfully. Shout out to my cuñado. Uh -huh. um, Respect. Yeah. Um, my mom's a badass bitch. Well, respectfully. Respectfully, like just shit like that. Yeah. And I'm like, of course, we would love que. to. Que que es que. Um, you know, like we would love to do that, but we just, you know. Tenemos que invertirle. Damn, yeah, bro. <laughs> Why'd you give me the stare, though? <laughs> no, because aquí mis ojos. Yeah. <laughs> you know, mis ojos, like, crafts and stuff. So, you know, my sister, she's very creative, too, you know. Um, so, we're, if we're going to do something, we're going to start small and then eventually, of you course. know. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, it doesn't have it's, to happen now, you know. It just it's all about happening. starting. Yeah. yeah. No, but just we, like, um, I wish we could plan ahead like you guys. Right, right, right. Um, but no, we just take it day by day and uh, we love what we do. Yeah. We love to talk. Anybody, if you catch us at a grocery store and uh, somebody's asking me about limones, I'll be like, yeah, and these are better than these. And uh, I love to talk. Oiga, pero como le fue la hora del día? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, y que hace? Y que hace? Y va a ser de comer? Vivo por aquí? Yeah. So that, we love to talk. Yeah. And um, so we we were born for this. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fucking keep the good topics coming with that. I think it's all about them topics. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Not it's just like, you guys, just like uh, Compass and Filter, I mean, you guys always have a topic and you guys... You guys always hit it on the head, I think. I yeah. agree. With everything, and I, I told them the same thing. Bro, you guys' topics, like, and I kind of asked them the same thing. What's your, what's your guys? How do you guys go about it? Because I kind of want to see how you go about it. And Because uh, I think we're just straight, like, we just like we just say, we come in here and we sit down and we we you know want to know about the, the guests. Like, yeah. the little talk you know? that we had is just more like, because even though we know who you are, you know, we're, like, we don't know we, each other yeah, at all. The right. first time so, I, guys, yeah, yeah, we yeah. at least yeah. want to get some quick as bullet points if we can or at least mental ones yeah but like last week we did rick miranda i had never met him so yeah. i kind of said if i'm gonna just go in there like that sometimes it's it's better you know it just comes off very genuine yeah but at the same time it could be a little nerve-wracking so you're like yeah. oh fuck where do we go from here yeah but um no i think the topics for you guys and compas are are on point the only thing with that is that it's got i just feel like it, they're so good did they have to be in a way consistently good and shit? Yeah, keep up, keep up the yeah, good work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's not like, 
oh, one was good and two were fucking slow. Like, no, it's like the pace is there. Yeah. And you yeah. guys, are, in a good way, you and them created a, a good pace. Yeah. It's not too slow. It's actually, that más acelerado el pedo in a good way. Uh, it's very catchy right away. Cuatro por cuatro. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then both of you guys have, uh, I would assume, do you, you guys have a time limit? Uh, we actually don't. You don't because no. they're yeah. all about the same time, right? Yeah, we actually don't. And it's, it's crazy because it's like sometimes she can't stay too long or I haven't gotten my dinner ready. Oh, so yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. always yeah. say we all like, it's a joke Shorting already cute. because Shorting, 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 yeah. Shorting cute, yeah. 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 And, um, and she'll be like, like we have to do it's one really shirt. fast. Shorting yeah. Sweet. Not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, she'll say it just because that's how we're thinking about it that it's going to be something short like I, an hour and a half later and like damn hey, bro we said it was going to be short and cute yeah. what happened oh, short and cute, okay. short I, cute. Fucked up. I fucked it no, up no it's, it's, she says both she says okay. short and sure. sweet and short and cute yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and we look at the time and it's like what the hell yeah but, it's just natural but the thing is like we like when we we go downstairs in her her basement and we record it's like it's genuinely like a platica and it's just like me i'm just talking shit with my sister yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying so se nos va el tiempo and that's what i want our, our our supporters to know that we're just we're we're super approachable we yeah. love to talk so yeah. if, like if you were like message us that's why i love messaging anybody that messages us like right away like i wanted you to be like included and you know everyone's part of it and not like well no like we're too good and your topics and shit or something like that no everything's welcome yeah everything's welcome yeah. and i want the guys to like message me like oh like uh even if it's not relationship you know you know topics or just shit like that like talk about this or talk about that like yeah i want guys to but Come. you guys got a fan, no? Somebody that you guys oh, yeah, have talked have about a, a few yeah. times, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That has hit you guys you up. You know what? Shout out to our supporter. I, I just don't want to expose ahead. that person. Go ahead. I was going to say. Say his name? Maybe drop uh-huh. it. You know? I don't want to yeah. expose yeah. that Maybe person, but you know, it's, it's muchacho. Fucking muchacho. Bart wants some controversy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say his fucking name. Because, just because Who I know, is I've it? Do I know him? No, no, I've heard him talk about it. You know, Is it Fry? And he is. No, da mucho apoyo. Shout out Fry. They caught you. Shout out Fry. Fucking Fry. Sorry. out. You told them? Yeah. No, that much apoyo. And it's like, you know, like, uh, that's what we want. Well, for sure, the girls, you know, they're going to have course, our back. But the guys, ass. the guys we want, you know, especially the conversation, it's like, maybe you think the shirt's black. Why is it black? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's, let's go into that. Why do you think I don't think like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I want to know what the fuck is going on in your head, too. You know? Right. Yeah. No, no, it's perfect. It fucking works out, I think. <laughs> ese, ese muchacho siempre nos, every yeah. Monday, he sends, uh, he, he be at work and just like, yeah, he us. sends us, um, that he's uh, listening, yeah. watching oh, us. He watches yeah. us. I pro- probably know who he is. I just don't want to put it like, like you know, like he he, he sc- went personal. Yeah, he, he went, went personal, personal, so we like don't want to screenshots and stuff like that. And of I'm like, course. damn, para que nos tengan confianza. Like that's what's up. Like I like that because I want our supporters to feel like they can fucking reach out to us and like we will reply. Like we're fucking humans. Yeah, because obviously too. we have the family and the friend support. So our family always, like, I'm pretty sure half of our family, you know, does it just because it's us, um, not because of the episode or what we said, right. but they'll share it and the, our friends will share it. And we appreciate that. But when a person that a doesn't stranger, know us, like, right. you know, that doesn't know, that owes nothing to us, he, nada, nada. he or she genuinely like what we're talking about. That's what's up. That just means yeah. more like, damn, bro, they actually fuck with us. Yeah, you gotta you keep know? doing it. I, I just think that it's gonna reach so many more people. Yeah, I think it's like a, a two way street, right? Like, as much as you guys want to get like the guys' input, right? You want to hear from the guys. I think the guys that do listen and throw you guys hear. suggestions are kind of because they want to get your input, like about their their situation or a friend's situation or whatnot. And, you know, that's the best way to... It's kind of like fucking like love line in a way. Yeah. Acting yeah. back in my fucking day. Hey, I just broke up with Midnight like, after dark Samuel L. Jackson. You're Samuel probably going to be going through some shit in a couple of years, young man. 19-year-old motherfucker. Doesn't Shout even know you. I've out. seen your Instagram. I'm, I might put you on the car and, you know, you're so... And I'm just like, oh. There you go. Hey, how about that? Like, put him on the came car. up with the car? Like, that's, that's something cool. that you guys yeah. do often now, right? Yeah. Uh, obviously, because of COVID. Okay. So, okay. because of COVID, because we do record from my house... You know, I can't just let anybody oh, come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, the people that we are going to have um, are close friends or family. Right. But even then, you know, we wanted to think ahead of time. You know, if we're going to have this long term, we're going to have strangers come in and want to be in the call or who knows. But um, she started thinking about it. Our, our system has uh, Bluetooth. Why not yeah. at the call? And uh, it got a little bit overwhelming because then it was almost like, 
every episode we have to have a collar. Okay. But then we we did a couple episodes where it's like no, we didn't have yeah. a collar. It was a short and sweet episode. Right. And um and it, it it did all right too. So now it's like if it's a topic um that somebody suggested, we'll ask them like, hey, do you want to be in the call? Do you want to be exposed? Do you not want to be exposed? Yeah. Oh shit! Okay. And yeah. and that's how we go about that one. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes we've got to know we don't. I don't want to be in the call. Just talk about what I said. Yeah. Right. And or read what I said or some shit. Or- and we'll we'll ask another person that probably went through it or told us about the same topic and like, oh, yeah. we're gonna be talking about this. Do you want to be in the call? And that's how we we yeah. get our callers. Nice. So now the answer is like, put him on the call. Like, yeah. So that that's what we <laughs> every time we'll do that. Put him on the call. You be talking put shit. Put him on the call. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to have fucking Samuel Jackson and Bart on the call. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding about your Instagram. Right. You guys seem very love. I, I I'm all about love. Love's love, and I fucking love love. hater. No, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Hell no. I, I love I love seeing people happy. I I love that. Like genuinely, like in a relationship, not in a relationship, just that positivity of just being fucking happy. Man. Oh, is that? Of course. That's the way it has to be. No other no other way, man. Just no, yeah, we, we try to be very positive. Um, just because it's like why why take the negative route, you know? Yeah. Why think about what people are gonna hate about us or whatnot? Just take it positive and be yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's it. Bro, I fucking uh recommend everyone that's listening to, to today oh, to yeah. check them out let's you want us to talk about it we're very happy that you guys came uh you guys uh not not even not even for mono my you bart that one my bad if everything second, happened it's second. our fault yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No, no, we don't no. want CPS fucking <laughs> listening to this shit. Hey, what's up? My government. I still got to pay my bill. <laughs> <laughs> Pero say, we're happy that, that you guys are here. We're happy that uh, hopefully people listen, more people listen. Y este, pues ojalá que, que empecemos algo in the near future. You like just to, to come up with ideas or help you guys out. Yeah. I know my compadre Fry's not here, I, but I'll speak for him. Like anything that you guys need on that end, I know he's down. Uh, same thing that I told um, my guys, compas unfiltered, and same thing that I told Paula afterwards. Like, hey, like, you know, feel free to ask anything and shit. Yeah. So we're here. Um, we're gonna fucking be sharing this when it comes out. <laughs> Listen, caramotos que que te escuchen. You wanna talk about it? Oh yeah, go check it out. Um, keep doing what you guys are doing. Aww. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Thank you. Because I'm I'm a fucking listener, <laughs> and I'm excited to. Yeah. Man, hopefully this all goes down and we all start working together. Yeah, Aww. that um, would be amazing. Uh, yeah. Because Bart's dope. new to the game too. It's dope. Yeah. Well, technically, that's what I'm saying. He's never like, done this. Ever. I've never done this. I had no like. You know, I just I started. I've been working with Compa for a while with the violence and shit. And um, y que ya vas a ser manager, no? Yeah, we heard I that. We heard that. Yeah. I caught that. I think you had, boy, right you had your there. first gig yes, this weekend, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, I saw that. Well, I had, I had this that was my first gig with these guys. Aww. And uh, yeah, man, shout out uh, Conjunto Zar. Shout him out, Woo! Samuel, L. Samuel, and, uh, Compa Zar, and then Cascabel, Cascabel, my guys, Jose Cermeño in the sound, like always. Yes, sir. And shout Rubio. He's got the sprained elbow today. <laughs> hey, to take honestly, now that we're here, I did see you guys working really hard the, yeah. on the live on podcast. The live. Oh, so, yeah. shout them out. I, we were right yeah. there. So, I saw you guys, you know, put in work. We had a good uh, uh, celebratory dinner. Okay, with good. With these guys, we took them off for that. Si well, Jose, Jose, uh, <laughs> Jose didn't make it. We'll keep that for a different uh, episode. Yeah. But, um, yeah, go by. For good sure. shit. Um, badass. Keep doing Thank what you guys do. Thank like you. I said, uh, <laughs> We're going to keep listening. Hopefully, we'll work together. Um, fuck. And well, it's not going to be the, the last time you yeah. guys will be here. Yeah, I for mean, sure. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys yeah, come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to keep bringing you guys. We want to make this. on us and then, you know, not stop coming fucking with us. The no. same, <laughs> the now same, we fuck uh, with you guys. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> the same way like that we did the whole sharing on story, this is kind of, for me, this is what I'm going to, we're going to do. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to overload it with it, but I am going to do it once every other month or so and bring in different pods and I also listen to my boys, uh, Los Boys podcast. Um, so, and there's another guy I can't think right now, but he's a sports guy too. And he, he's eventually we want to bring everyone. Same thing, kind of like the Guac Pod. Same thing with podcasting. Yeah. So it's not going to be the last time. Next time we'll just talk about what's going on currently. Oh, thank you. Because you guys, you know, you guys got a good amount of episodes, and I've been having pensando. So just don't. Yeah. I might be have same thing as my my compas on filter. Just don't stop. Like, yeah. Yeah. try to be as consistent as you are and, and continue to be because when you're outside the house you don't really admire the beauty of the inside of the house so when you're inside the house you're so busy working and creating and producing 
that you fucking forget, right? So just don't forget the topics. Don't forget that, you know, the listeners that you do have, they want it fucking yeah. every week. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're, they're yeah. going to be like, what the fuck happened? If no, yeah, we, we owe it up to them yeah. because yeah. um, actually a lot of people tell us all the time, like, I look forward to Mondays or we have a lot of friends that are, you know, teachers and they're like, oh, on my way to work, listening to you guys early in the morning. Nice. So even, I, even that I told her because um, she used to, I was the editor and she would upload it. Okay. And but she she thought Monday's Monday. She would like uploading it at tres cuatro de la tarde. Right. And um, I was telling her like, no, like try to upload it early because you know a lot of our listeners yeah. are on their way to work trying to listen to mm -hmm. us. You know, uh, I was thinking as a mom, like I don't want to listen to a podcast, a forty five hour long podcast at three four p.m. because I'm trying to get my dinner ready para right. que todo esté listo. So I was just speaking out of my own experience and then we started doing the 7 a.m. and it, it played out really good because we have a couple people at work listening to us, mm -hmm. you know, telling us like, oh, no, no episode this Monday. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I think we're learning as we're going, just like being more like on top of it, on it. She's teaching me how to edit. You know, I used to just leave that to her. She's obviously really busy and I have more time than her. So now I'm the editor, but I always need, you know, her to like kind of look at it and finalize it because yeah. she's a perfectionist. So right, I respect right. that. And it's our work. You know, we want some legit ass shit. Well, guess what? What you mean I'm a perfectionist? <laughs> that muting at the other video didn't work out. <laughs> I'm dead. Um, <laughs> but for sure, we're learning as we're going, and it's just like you know, every Monday we look forward to it, and then sometimes like I be like going to work, and I'm like, damn, who the fuck is this bitch on the podcast? This bitch is me. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's part two. Yeah. Shit. I, li I listen to myself. Right? All the time. But don't you feel so, weird listening to yourself? Yeah. My, yeah, my sure. little girl. Not, not really, I don't know. My little girl uh, walked in on me yesterday, and she's like. She's like, why are you seeing yourself on YouTube, mom? That's yeah. you. And I'm like, girl, but yeah. yeah. I'm another yeah, mom yeah. fan. Making sure it's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause, uh, no, because there been there has been some episodes where like, this fool let me record with my pinche pelo todo parado. Yeah, and, I fucked up, bro. Yeah. There's been, there's been times we record, there's no video. Right. And then like, we're sometimes we're off and like, we're talking shit and the videos are been going. I'm like, man, I fucked up. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, obviously yeah. all of that, that comes with learning. Yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 No, well, I mean, you guys are doing a good job at it. Thank um, you. And, and again, it's just the beginning, I feel like. So, we're sure. glad, I, I'm glad that we kind of seen, seen you guys early on, you know, and hopefully you guys keep growing. And we'll see you guys soon. Para toda la gente que está escuchando, make sure you subscribe <laughs> to our YouTube, which is... Comp go ahead. Los Compas. There you go. Podcast on everything. On everything. It's Spotify, Facebook. Apple Podcasts, Apple Facebook. Podcast. It's all. all that except space. Twitter. Ah. Except Twitter. No Twitter, friend. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> y este, uh, subscribe and follow. Chico nos talk about it. We'll see yeah. you guys soon. Ya se la saben. La pura positiva. Bam, bam, bam.